Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. In Windows Phone 7, there are many places where you can tap and hold and perform an action in the phone, but they're not very discoverable. There's no way to know that a tap and hold will actually bring forth more functions. There's actually about 30 places in the operating system where a tap and hold will do something. In this video, we're gonna talk about five or six of them, some of the most important ones that you should know when using a Windows Phone 7 device. So let's get to it. All right, and in the description, we're going to list all of these different places where you can tap and hold. But again, we're going to talk about six of them in this video. So let's start off with the keyboard. So we're going to open up any place where we can enter text. In this case, we'll open up Bing and we'll go to search for something. But you can actually tap and hold a variety of keys to get different things to happen. Uh, for example, we can type the period and that will change to a variety of punctuation. We can tap and hold the N to get the Spanish character, and so on and so forth. If you go to any other character, you'll get the, uh, the, the extended look at the different characters that are available. And of course, this is common to a lot of smartphones, so you probably expected this to happen. Also, if you go into Internet Explorer, and instead of .com, the .com button will turn into .net, .edu, .org, kind of like the iPhone and in Android too. Okay, so let's talk about another one. The Pictures Hub background can actually be changed. And that little picture of a beer mug here is actually set to the Pictures Hub background. And so we open it up and you can see that here are the stock pictures built in. And in the background, you can see uh, the one that I've set. Now, you can actually change this background by tapping and holding. You can do change it for me, or you can click change background and change it to something else. So we can pick some uh, fall foliage here and move it, move the picture around to crop it just right. And now it will set the picture hub as your background. But there was no way to know this. There's no notification that you can tap and hold. So uh, it's one of those things that's not very discoverable. And again, it changes the picture hub background right there, which is quite nice. Now, something else you can do is tap and hold to delete an SMS conversation. So if you go into messaging here. Okay, so what we can do here is tap and hold and press delete. There's no other way to know that that would be an available option. So if you want to hide a conversation that you had with someone, you can do it that way and just quick tap and hold. Another thing you can do is uninstall programs by tapping and holding. There's no add remove program settings area like there was in Windows Mobile. But if you go to any third party application here, let's say accidentally tap there, let's say we want to remove, uh, say, Yelp, we tap and hold. And from here, we can also rate and review. We can also pin it to the start menu or we can uninstall it. And uninstalling takes about a second. It's extremely fast. We can do rate and review, which will dump you into the marketplace. It'll allow you to write a little review, rate it, say something about it, and you get the point. So tap and hold on a program to uninstall it or to rate or review it. Another thing you can do is save pictures if you're in the internet browser. This is a great feature. It's common to a lot of smartphone operating systems out there. So let's go to pocketnow.com and we'll pull up a picture and we'll try to save it to our library. So here's a picture I wanna save it. So you tap and hold on it and it will allow you to save the picture or actually you can share it. So we click save picture. And now if we dump into the pictures hub, we should see it available. Over here, saved pictures, there they are. Pretty cool. So again, there's a whole slew of places where you can tap and hold in Windows Phone 7, not easily discoverable. So we've made a list of about 30 of these places and it's in the description so you can reference this video uh, or this page if you need to come back to all these different places where a tap and hold will do something in Windows Phone 7. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and visit pocketnow.com for news and reviews for smartphone devices. Thanks for watching, that's it for now.